we are going to discuss few uh, common topics and we would like to ask what would you do as Sheetal said and there are some exceptions to what has been described. Yeah. So this two and a half year old boy struck by a car and came to a senior orthopedic surgeon and he had pain and uh, he found that the x-rays to be normal and so I gave anti-inflammatory and called the child in a week's time. Child had persistent pain so uh, he got in cross table lateral x-ray and he thought that this is okay. So again uh, gave anti-inflammatories and at two weeks time child was not able to walk and they came to us and we got in frog lateral view and this is the uh, x-ray showing. So uh, as you can see now this del bay type 1 and uh, it was missed on primary x-ray. So the uh, point is you whenever you are in doubt you can see that there is a increased physical distance. You always get a <coughs> frog lateral x-ray or comparison x-ray of the opposite side. Now and we know uh, as per discussion that type 1 has very high rates of AVN and complications. So let's see what happens in this case. From before that I'd like to ask you how would you uh, deal with this child? Can we have this uh, opinion? Two weeks old, 2.5 year old child, would you apply hip spica in C2, close reduction, KY fixation and hip spica or screw fixation and open reduction? Okay, so yeah, so uh, I'm I'm surprised that a lot of people have said hip spica in C2, but Manoj's talk uh, he was very clear that we have to stabilize it, and uh, let's see. So we tried; it's two weeks. Patient has pain; it was mobile. So we took the patient in. And this one question, what complications you can expect in this child? AVN, non-union, malunion, growth arrest or all of the above? Please opine on this as well. So yeah, this looks like there can be very high rates of complication and uh, growth arrest, AVN we can expect because this is delayed presentation, a lot of displacement. Let's see what happens. We took the patient in theater, checked under image intensifier, there was frank mobility and we gently abducted, flexed and externally rotated and that uh, uh, got aligned. In that position we placed one wire and then <coughs> we brought the limb down and we placed the other wire and checked the stability and the reduction was good. And let's see the follow up, this is in the hip spica we, we added and this two years follow up. And surprisingly, this child uh, did not have AVN or uh, at least growth arrest as short term. And this is the 10 years follow up of that boy. And you can see the hip has uh, uh, remodeled well and there is, we don't see any complication. This, he, has, he doesn't have any limb length discrepancy and is functionally doing very well. So sometimes we see these exceptions even though there was a late presentation, significant displacement still we were lucky and there was no AVN and we did not do uh, that, that there was no role of hip decompression of course. This is an 8 years old boy, fell from height, acute presentation, there is no delay in presentation and displacement is there little less than what we saw the previous child. How to treat it? Now this is an 8 years old boy, please opine, hip spica after close reduction, close reduction, k-wire and hip spica, screw fixation or open reduction or uh, safe surgical dislocation and fixation. Yeah, so many of us think that uh, child is a boy, young, lot of growth remaining and try and fix with a K-wire and some of them are, are planning for screw fixation. Let's see what complication we can expect. Please opine on this as well. Are we, uh, can we expect AVN, malunion, growth arrest, non-union, what complication can happen? Right, so AVN, uh, we are thinking that AVN is the most likely complication. Let's see what happens. 
So uh, we did close reduction with gentle positioning as we did in the last case. I placed three wires and we, are, we supplemented with a spica. And uh, this is one month's follow up, which is looking okay. Uh, at six weeks, wires were removed and a hip abduction orthosis was given for further uh, one month. And at five months follow up, you can see there is sclerosis of the head. There's a global uh, AVN and there is a relatively thinning of the physis as well. So what, uh, what are we dealing with, uh, Premal Bhai? <laughs> so you have got an AVN, you have lost a physis. I have a very similar patient. I was going to put it up and it ended up in three surgeries ultimately. Okay, so three surgeries. So let's see what happens now. We know that uh, there are some Late, uh, current strategies when we come across in global avian like this, we give oral bisphosphonate or IV bisphosphonate. There are some reports, and uh, our own doc Dr. Prasad who had suggested intra lesional uh, bisphosphonate injection, but that is more for the sectorial avian, probably before the collapse. For a global avian, we don't know, and this case was done before uh, 9 10 years, so uh, we didn't have access to that. So we just kept the child and follow up non weight bearing anti-inflammatories and now at nine months you can see there is some revascularization started happening at the corner on both the side and there's a one year follow-up if we look at these x-rays in closely just like in Perthes disease they started revascularization from medial and the lateral end and that that point child started uh, we allowed full weight bearing at two years child shifted out of Gujarat and they just could send the clinical pictures but he was asymptomatic and just before the IFIX, we, I called him up and they were uh, kind to come. This is nine years follow-up, child is 17 years old now. As Premal Bhai pointed, there was growth arrest. But there was no signs of AV and I mean, the, the femoral head shape has well been maintained. He has short neck and trochanteric overgrowth. And I suggested him relative neck lengthening and distalization. But he said, I have full range of motion. The bit of limb length discrepancy, I'm okay. I don't want any further surgery. So this can also happen. So thank you very much for your attention.